So I watched this debate on Modern Day Debate. Uh, music artist T-Jump, Godless Girl, and Smokey Christian, I guess he calls himself. Now, to call this debate a dumpster's fire is the understatement of the decade. If dumpster fires are your thing, if you want to watch a debate that's just really, really out there and, like, not in any meaningful sense of the word good or even coherent, but, like, you're just looking for a chuckle, um, this one hits the mark. I mean, it's... It's borderline, it's borderline insane. Um, mostly because of two of the participants. I've seen Smokey in the past, and apparently he gets a lot of complaints um, because sometimes he goes off the rails and starts arguing. He was actually pretty, pretty normal in this debate, and he was the only one, he made a convincing argument. There's like, honestly, there's only like about five or ten minutes of this debate, about 25 minutes in, where him and T-Jump have a back and forth about omnipotence. And CJ actually thought through some of the things he was saying, and he made some really good points about, you know, the omnipotence of God and, and why God doesn't intervene. And I was like, wow, this is actually really solid. And that was about five minutes of the debate. The rest of it was just like, I mean, a nut house. A nut house. Godless Girl was like, I'm not even sure what was going on at the beginning. I mean, take it with a grain of salt. I'm not necessarily recommending anybody watches it, but if you want an idea of, like... Here's, here's just a sample of her opening statement to give you just an idea of what you're dealing with if you just that decide to watch it. This other belief is true. I'm sorry, sir. That's an elementary fallacy. Go fucking learn philosophy 101. Uh, that's, that's just like so, it's just so fucking, it's just so childish. Like, what the fuck? You're a music analyst. What business of you, what business do you have of fucking talking about the existence of God? What a fucking clown to say such a thing as, oh, uh, atheism entails slavery before <laughs> atheism is false. You've committed an error in reasoning, sir. And then what was that, that shit that, that smoking scene sign? Shit, I don't even fucking remember. Um. Alright, so if that's, if you find that entertaining, go check it out. Because that's her entire opening statement. I, I guess she's drunk. Uh, probably off her ass from what it sounds like. I don't know, it sounds like there's some other stuff going on there. Um, her words are slurry, which would indicate alcohol. And she's so erratic in this debate. At one point she actually leaves. And she hurt. <laughs> she shuts down her screen and she disappears for 50 minutes and goes, sorry, I just went to the store to go buy alcohol. I swear to God. I swear to God that went out in the middle of the debate. Um, that's her opening statement. Um, the first 25 minutes of the debate are just completely insane. Completely out of control. The other guy, music artist, is kind of matches her. So Tom, they, he and Tom Jump get into a back and forth. And Tom Jump starts talking about the Big Bang, and there's this whole side argument between him and Music Artist. And Music Artist has this thing where he says that Tom is using these wizard words, trying things that the Big Bang... I don't know, maybe he was trolling Christianity? I wasn't really sure what his point was, but it was like, the Big Bang doesn't exist, and you only believe the Big Bang by faith, and try and explain the Big Bang without your wizard words. And that's kind of went to this insane back and forth between Dream and Tom, where Tom was... I guess under instructions to explain the Big Bang without using, you know, anything highfalutin or anything sounding scientific. So that was a real part of the debate, and that went on for about 15 minutes. Um, when she went to the store, she goes to the store for about 20 minutes, and, I, you know, at that point it was kind of dull, to be perfectly fair. The, the whole reason the debate was so fun and crazy was her. Yeah, music artists too, actually. It was a little bit of both of them, but it really was her. So... The snippet that I played for you is kind of how her whole opening statement is. It's kind of just like this tirade of like, you know, what's wrong with you? You can't, I can't even believe this is what you think. This is what you, this is the thing that you're going to present to me? I mean, that's just incoherent gibberish. And it was like so insane. So if you enjoy that, you'll like it. If you don't, if you don't, don't go near it. I thought it was really funny. I mean, I, I was expecting it to be a dumpster fire. There was a debate between Tom Jump and Godless Girl that was actually a dumpster fire too, nowhere close to this. Like there she started out kind of coherent and kind of trying to argue, but it kind of broke down along the same lines. She started going like, make it an argument! <laughs> she started freaking out on Tom Jump and going, make an argument! Make a freaking argument! <laughs> that was really insane too. But this one was like, this one was really, there was no, there was only five minutes of sound debate at all. and. There was one small snippet of a coherent conversation between Smokey and T-Jump 
about God, the omni properties of God. And like I said, Smokey actually, you know, I'll go check out his channel because he actually has a better handle on it, believe it or not, than most people do. Um, how most atheists talk about omni properties and the reason why they think they can't exist, they say it's incoherent, is because in, in the atheist framing of an omni property, for example, omnipotence, they seem to think that omnipotence is something that God needs to bring to bear every single time he does anything. He's got to use full omnipotence or omnipotence is not something he possesses. That's how they talk about omnipotence, promise. And that's how they think of it. It's not that omnipotence itself is a coherent, a coherent idea or God possessing omnipotence or omniscience is a coherent idea. It's that atheists, when they start thinking about it, some of them do this on purpose because they're perfectly capable. Matter of fact, most of them do. For someone like T-Jump, if he does it, I don't know if he does it, but if he does, he does it on purpose. Because he's perfectly capable of framing coherent, coherent, explicable uh, theolo theological premises of how omnipotence and omniscience could function in the world in an actual being. They are just choosing not to do so. So they're painting this totally incoherent idea about the omni properties, like, you know, God can't be omnipotent because this is what omnipotence entails, and they think that they're declaring this is what omnipotence entails means that's what it is. Um, if that seemed like a mouthful, you know, I'll make a video about it some, at some point in the near future. See, the only, there's only one part of this debate that's coherent, and that's when Smokey starts talking about the omni properties of God and how... He's actually correct, and actually it's really interesting because he's one of, one of the only people I've ever heard frame it correctly in most of the debates I've listened to. So for, for like five minutes of a nuthouse debate, I mean, just the only, it's not the reason to watch the debate, so don't mishear me right now. It's just was of note while I was watching this debate that I was only watching for kicks. The only reason to watch this debate, that's why I played your little snippet of Godless Girl, is because it's really entertaining to see her basically melt down. Um, basically, and music artists too. Other than that, don't bother with it. Um, even though there is a part of the debate where Smokey has a pretty coherent grasp of the omni properties of God. Um, he's one of the few people who talk about omni properties as if they are something that are in full possession of a being known as God. So in other words, God doesn't have to be omnipotent or have to bring omni power to bear in every single situation. Um, atheists, the reason why atheists always think it's an incoherent concept is because they, they seem to think omni proper, uh, omni, omnipotence entails that you have to bring omnipotence to bear every single time you do anything. That's not, I don't even know what you would call that, but that's not omnipotence. So what, what CJ was arguing for, and he's essentially correct, he's one of the few Christians I've ever heard argue this, is that God in certain situations, by his own volition and by choice, limits his power. Hello? <laughs> that's pretty explicable. For how, and you can match that the theologically to the world that you actually live in, how could an omnip God be omnipotent if the X and X and X aren't happening? Because he has, in some places, according to his own volition and according to his own will, limited his omnipotence. So he doesn't bring omnipower to veil, to bring it to the table, every single solitary situation. Now, that's a perfectly rational, explicable, coherent idea. For an atheist to pretend otherwise is just pretense. It's just, I don't feel like having a real conversation about this. I just feel like pretending it is incoherent. And by pretending it's so, you know, how you would debate someone who's insisting that's incoherent, I don't know. Why? Because they could just pretend that it's incoherent. But it isn't. It makes complete sense. And that's what Smokey was arguing for at the one part of the debate that was actually debate. Now, T. Jump took issue with that and started, and then for, for, I swear to God, for like six minutes, and you were watching like the ghost of a real debate. And then she goes to the store, and music artist comes in and starts telling Tom. I mean, it's really entertaining. I got to say, the, the, the nuthouse version of the debate, which is the rest of the debate, there's, there's five minutes of real debate in there about the omni properties of God, and T-Jump takes issue with it. Um, they should actually make a rematch, those two, just on that, because that would be worth seeing. And if CJ or Smokey should ever listen to this, you know... Point me to a video where he explains this in full because he's actually got a pretty good grasp on it. 
uh, believe it or not. Other than that, you know, the, whole, the only other reason that you would be watching this is if you're just looking for a chuckle, because it's tremendous. It's totally out there. It's totally out there. One guy, well, then you got to read the comments, because the comments alone are hilarious. One guy's like, you know, uh, godless girl, she loco as, as F. You know, she's hilarious. I mean, basically, if you find her stick in this debate hilarious or not, then watch it. If you don't, you know, don't, don't go near it, because it's mostly that. Um, the rest of it is like kind of a nut house version of a, you know, a debate from another planet. It's uh, a back and forth that's essentially, those are essentially dynamics. Godless girl acting totally crazy, totally lit, um, totally erratic actually. It looks to me like uh, apparently she offered T-Jump $10,000. I don't know if this is a true thing. It's, it's a playful thing, obviously, but she offered T-Jump $10,000 to be his girlfriend, and he turned it down. Can't imagine why. <laughs> um, so, take it out with a grain of salt. If you want to be, if you want to have a, a fairly decent laugh, check it out. If you don't, don't go near it. Um, like I said, there's five minutes of real debate in there that are worth exploring in other videos, and other than that, you know, I watched the whole thing just because I, I, I kind of had to, because I thought her opening statement was so out, outlandish and off the wall, and then some of her behavior was so erratic, given the context, that I kind of watched the whole thing to see if there was any more of that. There wasn't any really big moments. Those, the big moments come in the beginning. So if, you, if, you, if you're curious about the debate just for entertainment value, almost all of the entertainment value is, is over by about 25 minutes in. After that, it's still kind of an erratic debate, and it's funny and outlandish, but it's just not the same. The first 25 minutes, it's like from another planet. It's really fun. If, if, big caveat here, if that little snippet that I played, you think, wow, that's really entertaining, that's out there, I gotta check that out, then go check it out. Stop it after about 25 minutes. Stop it after the debate between T-Jump and... Actually, stop it after the wizard. The, the wizard stuff is worth seeing when he starts telling T-Jump not to use wizard words when he's explaining things and basically saying that, you know, basically it's, it's a, one of the standard Christian talking points that, you know, an atheist is, atheists have more faith in science and he, that T-Jump just has faith in science. And, and it's like, try explaining the Big Bang without using your, your, your wizard words. It, that's pretty awesome. That, that's worth seeing, and that, that all ends by about a half hour in. Then you turn it, turn it down, skip ahead to the last five or ten minutes. Not really worth watching the last five or ten minutes either, but, you know, just to see. Because the middle part where she goes off, and it's just, you know, it's still outlandish, it's still fun, but it's not, it's not, it's not quite as over the top and demented and insane as the first 25, 30 minutes. The first 25, 30 minutes is like a surreal masterpiece. It's like wow, this is this is the most out this is the most dumpster fire debate I've ever seen in my entire life. This doesn't even have the pretense of a normal debate. This is like total chaos, um, totally outlandish, like like a like a satire of a a satire of a demented debate. Um, so there you have it. That's my analysis. It's really really. If you found that little snippet I played entertaining, thirty minutes of that. It's good, good, you're good to go, and then skip, a, skip, to, skip to the end. That was all for now, kids. If dumpster fire's on your thing, then don't bother. <laughs> Honestly, don't bother. There's almost no, there's, the only coherent part is, is the part I said. That's it. Outside of that, the rest of it is just, you know, nutty, nutty back and forth. So, if you're not entertained by Godless Girl's antics... If I played that little snippet and you didn't go, wow, that sounds really out there, check that out. You know, then don't bother with the bait. Don't bother with it at all, because it's pretty much all like that. You know, it's all from another planet like that. So, there have it, kids. Giving, my, giving you my breakdown. That is all for now. The Mass has ended. Go in peace. Amen.